That line of storms that came blowing into North Alabama early this morning, it started out over Missouri on Sunday afternoon. These are the clouds as seen from uh, the GOES satellite imagery, the combination of the visible and the infrared together here. And then as the sun went down last night, we switch over to completely infrared and look at all the red just explode there. The redder the image is, the taller the cloud tops and the taller the cloud, the more intense a thunderstorm and look at all these reports of wind damage across the Tennessee Valley region, northeast Alabama, and then this cluster of intense thunderstorms that started in eastern Tuscaloosa County, then rolled across Shelby County and ended up uh, potentially dropping a tornado over into Randolph County. As those moved out, another round developed south of there, and there is still active weather going on down toward Valdosta, Georgia tonight. So what happened earlier today still has to be surveyed by the National Weather Service in Birmingham. There was one stripe of wind damage right along Highway 11 between Coaling and Vance that happened about 535 in the morning. National Weather Service Birmingham will check that out to see if it was what we call straight line wind damage or if there may have been a weak spin up tornado there. Now keep in mind the word weak when applied to tornadoes. There's really no such thing as a weak tornado. There are just some that are less strong than others. Here's Cherokee County in the Tucker's Chapel community, especially County Road 43, 502 this morning. That's also going to be surveyed on Tuesday. And then there's this spot near Newell in Randolph County where it's likely that a tornado occurred here because there was a tornado debris signature observed by radar. The National Weather Service will get in there into Randolph County and check that one out early tomorrow as well. And as soon as we know what they have found, if they find anything other than wind damage, we'll certainly pass that on to you. Things nice and quiet out there tonight. Drier air blowing the storms all the way down toward the Gulf Coast, and that's where they're going to stay for a few days. This dry north wind actually makes it feel fairly comfortable around here tomorrow, but just as soon as it moves out, the moisture begins to come back, and that's going to mean at least some potential for an isolated shower later this week and maybe a better chance of some scattered thunderstorms over the weekend. Keyword there being scattered, hit or miss. It's certainly not going to rain everywhere, and anything that happened over the next three days, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, would be very low impact. Saturday, a slightly better chance of some of those storms. So here's your starting point tomorrow morning, mid 60s around Jefferson and Shelby counties. Rosa about 64, Coker at 66 in the morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we're topping out near 88 with a partly to mostly sunny sky. And down the road here, we're still not talking about widespread heavy thunderstorms, but there could be an isolated shower, very low impact rain from Birmingham North on Thursday or Friday. A little better chance of some of those scattered storms over the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, high temperatures are going to be in the mid 80s, overnight lows in the 60s. And although we get a few nice breathable mornings there in the lower 60s on Wednesday morning and Thursday morning, it certainly doesn't look like that kind of nice weather hangs along hangs around for long.